So over the last three years, Slant 3D has been focused on being a service bureau, a job shop, a production house. Clients would bring us projects that they need to have produced or mass produced, and we would produce their part without the cost of molding. That is what we were focused on. Large scale 3D printing farms that were able to produce thousands of parts without the cost of molds. And we still do that and will continue to, but we are going to be pulling away from that in the future. The reason for this is that there is an enormous educational gap uh, between what clients need to know to produce a good, reliable part. Based on restructuring within the industry and uh, labor shortages and just overall bandwidth and the scale that we want to hit, it's not possible to continue to support that anymore um, as, as a continued growth method for the company. So let me explain this a little bit more. Over the last couple of years, we've had clients from everything from furniture to toys, Etsy clients, Walmart, Amazon, everybody has used us. Um, and we've been very happy working with those clients and helping them bring those 3D printed products to market. But the problem has been is that so often in order to create a very good product, it takes a complete redesign and restructuring of both the design of the product itself and very often the business model. Clients will come to us with the assumption that we operate the same as injection molding and will literally feed us an injection moldable design to be mass production 3D printed. That's not the best way to do it. If they require that we use that same design, then very often the client is disappointed because 3D printing is not the same as injection molding. Different rules and design practices apply in order to create a good quality product. But if the client wants to go through that whole process, it's a long process which delays them coming to market. So it's never been a perfect fit and we felt that it was better to just go whole hog into the perfect version of 3D printing. So in order to do that, we have to abandon the gateway drug, uh, which is transitioning from mass production molding to mass production 3D printing to perfect on demand 3D printing. We're going to start pulling away from this. Now you may ask, why didn't we just create better systems to guide clients through um, so that they can hit all the goals and know what the standards are and be prepared for what 3D printing entails? We've tried. We've worked very hard to create consistent processes across it all, but there's such a high variation of what clients want. Um, some may need carbon fiber, some want PLA, some need custom Pantone, some want draft quality, some want perfectly immaculate, smooth, glossy post-process parts, some want paint, so on and so forth. All of these options that we are able to produce because 3D printing is highly flexible, but since every job is so different, you cannot build consistent processes to cover every possible circumstance that the client may run into that could cause a problem for the project. So we just have decided that it's better to move away from that and move towards more productization. So we will continue to offer services, but they will be much more focused and contained. Rather than the process adjusting to whatever the product the client has, the client will have to adjust their product to the particular processes. So we may have a workflow for something like trophies. If you want to create a custom trophy, we'll have a system and a product a submission system that allows you to create those very quickly, very efficiently. So that it's a good experience for the client, but also very contained and controlled to make sure that the output is good quality and in timeline for the client without having to go from a full white sheet each time. And we will do these for specific industries, specific product lines, uh, and common products that work really well with 3D printing so that they can be controlled and the client can know and understand what they will have. The downside of this is that there will be fewer choices. We will probably eliminate many colors. We will probably eliminate many types of materials. Um, and we will just simply have to turn down some projects because they don't fit within those workflows. And we don't want to disappoint the client if it's outside of our normal workflows because we're limited in how much we're able to take on right now. But in addition to that, while we are kind of downsizing the client side of the business, we are going to be focusing very hard and working to expand as much as possible a different part of the business, which we're going to talk about in the next video. Thanks, everybody.